Welcome back. It's now time for your midday sports roundup. After a strike action from the local football referees forced the postponement of 26 games on Saturday, the Issa schoolboy football season is expected to resume today with the rescheduled matches. The referees withdrew their services on Saturday due to safety concerns, according to the Jamaica Football Referees Association. This follows two reported incidents in the last three weeks. On September 21, a referee was assaulted by at least two players at a game between Dintil Technical and McGrath High. Prior to the Dintil Technical incident, an assistant referee was struck by an object at the Malden High School game between the home team and Cornell College. On Sunday, the Jamaica Football Federation, in a press release, said it fully supports the action of the JFRA to boycott Issa Schoolboy football games on Saturday. Former champions Portmore United searching for their first point of the new Jamaica Premier League season will take on Tivoli Gardens in the second game of a doubleheader tonight at the Anthony Spawning Sports Complex. Both teams have had a less than ideal start to the season, with the Portmore United losing to Mount Pleasant FC and Cavalier in their opening two games, while Tivoli's lone game to date ended nil all with Humble Lion. The match kicks off at 7.30. In the earlier game, the promoted Champerton Maroons will look to extend their winning start to their second life in the league as they play Montego Bay United in the opening game of the doublehead at 5 p.m. Chapleton defeated Harborview 2-1 in their opening game, while Montego Bay United have won one and lost one of their opening two matches. Dwayne Smith scored four goals as Bank of Jamaica thrashed a Scotia Bank 10-1 in the second semi-final of the Western Sports Business of Football Association Division II competition on Sunday. Kimo Yu Curlew with a hat-trick, Orlando Wine with two goals and Kevin Scott with one, were the other scores for BOJ. The lone goal for Scotia Bank was scored by Jermaine Gardner. BOJ will now face Kingston Wards Limited in the Division 2 final after they got the better of Kingston Freeport by two goals to nil. Metro Date Security and National Housing Trust will contest the Division 1 final. And despite two and a half days being lost due to rain and a wet outfield, the second test between India and Bangladesh looks headed for a dramatic end after 16 wickets fell on day four in Kangpur. Resuming at 107 for 3 from day 1, Bangladesh were bowled out for 233 in their first innings. Captain Mominal Haq, the top scorer with an unbeaten 107, but got little support as Najmul Hussain Shanta was next best with 31. Four Indian bowlers ended with two or more wickets, including Jasprit Bumrah with 3 for 50. Hunting quick runs, India posted 285 for 9 declared in just 34.4 overs, a rate of 8.22 runs per over. Opener Yajasri Jaiswal top scored with 72, while K. Rahul got 68 and Virat Kohli 47. Mahidi Hassan Miraz banked 4 for 41, while Shakib Al Hassan claimed 4 for 78. With a deficit of 52 runs, Bangladesh reached Storms in their second innings at 26 for 2. And that's it for your midday sports. I'm Renata Brown. And that concludes the midday news package. I'm Kerry Ann Simpson. Join us at 7 for primetime news. On behalf of the news, sports, and production teams, good afternoon.